Welcome to preparing financial statements using the trial balance. Just to let you know that later on we'll be using Sage accounting software to teach accounting concepts. Uh, this session is prepared by myself, Jerry LaRocca, and edited by Athanasia Leontarakis. So let us begin. Actually, before you begin, you should know the normal account balance theory. Uh, this you should memorize, that assets increase with a debit balance, liabilities with a credit balance, common shares with a credit balance, return earnings, again, a credit balance, dividends, debit, and sales increase with credit balances and expenses with debit balance. What uh, constitute an asset? An asset is anything that has value, and a few examples are cash, accounts receivables, inventory. Liabilities are made up of accounts payables, short-term bank loans, and taxes payable. Common shares. Common shares are usually um, common shares, uh, which are uh, required in order to uh, own the company, preferred shareholders. And we have also retained earnings, which constitute the profit or loss that the corporation has earned since inception. Dividends are amounts distributed to the shareholders from retained earnings. In other words, any time we declare a dividend, we actually reduce retained earnings. And sales and revenues, that's exactly what the business uh, that you're in. If you're in the business of selling uh, products, so you have sales. If you're an accountant, uh, you're in the business of providing services, and uh, etc. Et so anytime you see sales, fees, revenue, services, these are credit balances. Expenses, expenses are anything that is consumed such as rent, salary, automobile expenses, supplies used in the business, electricity, etc. A very brief description of an asset. An asset is anything that has value. And liabilities are amounts that we owe third parties. Common shares. These are the original investment by shareholder and owed to the shareholder. This is why it appears as a credit balance. A credit balance is what we owe to other people, third parties, Common shares and return earnings are what we owe to the shareholders. Div dividends, as I just mentioned, are funds dis distributed to the shareholders and reduce retain earnings. And sales are what the business purpose to make sales, revenues, fees, etc. And expenses, again, are items consumed to make a sale. So let us begin. I have highlighted a trial balance. I have highlighted a trial balance in uh, different colors in black showing a debit balance and in brackets in red showing a credit balance. Now under normal circumstances if we have shown a, cre a balance sorry a trial balance one on top of the other like the debit and the credit one over the other the total amount would be zero or we can show the trial balance uh, as a debit column and as a credit column. At the end of the day the debit and the credit if you add them together you're going to get zero. The trial balance basically tells you that the system is the accounting system is working fine. So how do we begin and prepare our first financial statement? I tell most of my students that the first thing you should look at, see if you can see the word sales. So let us resume. The moment you see the word sales, from sales anything down, you continue to prepare your income statement. In this case, because I have two samples. Uh, sample A and sample B. Let's let's take the uh, the one right here. Everything is right there. Or this side here is the same thing. So let us begin. The first thing that we do is we uh, must have our uh, heading, and our heading should read the name of the company. Here in this case, printing service company. Uh, one of the things that I should have included here, and I will do that right away, is that we are preparing the income statement. So we should write income statement. There we go. And the income statement is always for the year ending. In this case, the year end of the company is July 31st. Sales, I'm showing it in brackets. Expenses, made up of salaries, advertising, rent. These are only three expenses we have. Even if we had 100 different types of expenses, they all behave the same way. You add them up, you get 26,000. Now, sales are 40,000 and your expenses are 26. This gives us a profit of 13,500. If you notice, profit is a credit balance. But, financial, but for financial statement presentation, what we do is this. 
I'm just going to do a quick copy paste so you can uh, see exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to say copy I'm just right here. I'm going to say paste. Where you see the $40,000 as a credit, as accountants, we show it as an absolute amount. We show it as $40,000 absolute amount. We change the, uh, the, the color so that you can see that I only want to see $40,000. And then the expenses are shown as absolute amounts also, but the profit is sales of 40,000 minus your expenses of 26. I'm showing the math. Here we go. I'll remove the arrow a little bit down and change the font to uh, black. There we go. We show profit as 13,500. This is our financial statement presentation. Again, profit is a credit balance. And here's the proof. But for financial statement presentation, this is the format that we use. So now, the next item. The next item that I want to demonstrate is the statement retained earnings. Statement retained earnings begins with opening retained earnings. And where do I get that information? I'm going to scroll up to the uh, to our trial balance. And if you notice here, statement retained earnings or retained earnings, uh, I forgot the D there, so let me add it for you. Retained earnings, it's $33,000, and it's a credit balance. Right below, we have our dividends, so we should pick up the dividends also in the statement retained earnings, and let me do that. So I have my $33,000, and then I have less my dividends. Dividends are debit balance, as you just noticed up on the trial balance. And profit for the year is $13,500. I'm going to pick it up exactly from my income statement. But financial statement presentation, let us demonstrate that again. I'm going to say copy. There we go. Or Yeah, this is better. We do not show credits on the uh, financial statements. We will show that as an absolute amount. Profit, we show that as an absolute amount, except for dividends, because dividends, if we're showing the, the, the credits as absolute amounts, then we got to show, let me just make a little room there so you can clearly see that. Then we're going to show the less dividends as a negative amount. It's just a little thing to confuse you, right? But that's okay. And everything else here will be shown, sorry, will be shown in, uh, in black, if you want to put it that way. Well, except this guy here is a minus. So what is the total? Add them all up. See if this works, and this is in a dark font. So thirty-three thousand, thirteen thousand dollars profit, less my dividends of two thousand dollars, forty-four thousand five hundred. If you wish, you can show the the uh, the dividends in uh, in brackets. Comes the same way, and often enough when we prepare financial statements, we don't show them. Uh, in uh, in red, just in black as it is like here. So let me draw the line, and here's your financial statement presentation for retain earnings. Under normal circumstances, retain earnings is a credit balance, and they're improving it to you. Profit is a credit balance, improving it to you. Dividends are debit balances because they're deducted from retain earnings, and a nodal, the ending retain earnings at the end of the year is forty-four thousand five hundred. How do we prepare the balance sheet? Very simple. In the balance sheet, if we go back to the trial balance, we pick up all our assets, current assets, and we also pick up all our long-term assets, like a photocopy machine, which will last longer than 12 months, accounts payable, bank loan, mortgages. These are also long-term assets, a long-term liability, sorry. Uh, sorry, so we have it here. Our current assets, inventory, accounts receivable and inventory, Long-term assets, photocopy machine, accounts payable, or current assets, current liabilities, bank loan, or current liabilities, mortgages are long-term liabilities. Common shares will be found in shareholders' equity. So let us demonstrate that. I scroll down to my balance sheet. Balance sheet is as at July 31st. Current assets, any asset, any asset that's convertible into cash within a period of 12 months. Cash is our most current asset, so it's already converted into cash. So current assets are made of a bank or cash, accounts receivable, and inventory. 
and we highlight this and give it the title total current assets. Then right below long term assets is our photocopy machine, which is 8,000. Later on, you will learn about accumulated depreciation. It's not for this session, it's for a later session. So I add up my total current assets, my total current, my total long term liability, uh, sorry, my total long term assets, which gives us 124,500. At the end of the day, both current and long term make up your total assets. And this is what we have here 124,000. And this is what we have, what we're showing. Now our liabilities, Right below, they're made up of current liabilities, accounts payable, bank loan, total accounts payable and bank loan make our total current liabilities of 40,000. Notice I'm showing them in brackets, exactly how it appears in the trial balance. Long-term liabilities are anything that we have to pay, uh, which is longer than 12 months. Here we have a mortgage of 30,000. Our total liabilities, if I add the 40 and the 30, gives me 70. Shareholders' equity is made up of common shares, which is a credit balance, and retain earnings, 44500 which I obtained from my statement of retain earnings. So, going back, right down, I have my shareholders' equity of 54500 and my accounting equation says total assets of 124 is equal to my liabilities of 70, 40 and 30 to 70, and my shareholders equity of 54,500, which gives me 124,500. So my accounting equation, assets of 124 is equal to liabilities of 70 plus my shareholders equity of 54,500. But for financial statement presentation, our debits are shown exactly as you have them there. So I'm just simply gonna say, uh, pay special and just the values that should be okay uh, let me do the formatting also so it looks nice and clean so for balance sheet presentation the way you demonstrate uh, uh, the debits is the same way but then when we come on this side on the on the liability side we don't show brackets when preparing we show them in absolute values so that's what I'm exactly want to do I'm going to show them in absolute values and if I would add them together, I would get my 40. I'm going to draw my line. There we go. My long term, my mortgage of 30,000, the same thing in absolute values. I know that a, a, a liability is a credit balance, but when we prepare our financial statements, we do not show uh, brackets. Common shares, I know that the, the company uh, owes the shareholder 10,000. Return earnings, I know the amount is 44,500. I don't have to show brackets. And I should draw my line and I should amount them up. There we go. And we do not show brackets again. We just show the total amount of 124,500. And I will draw my double line. Obviously, the formatting is not that. But if I can do that, if we can do that, get rid of this too. But there we go. And I can uh, embellish that also. And that's it. This is how we prepare our uh, balance sheet in absolute values. And the same thing here in absolute values. But our trial balance is shown as credit balances. And here we go. Note, if you add the debits and credits on the balance sheet, meaning if you add up all the debits of 124 and all my credits of 124, you will get zero which is exactly like the trial balance. I hope you enjoyed this uh, session on how to prepare your uh, financial statements, income statement as shown up here, income statement as shown right here. But this is the, the proper way to do it, showing the amounts and absolute values and the statement of return earnings right here and a balance sheet. Classified balance sheet means that we allocate the assets between current assets and long-term, and we allocate the liabilities between current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Thank you. Thank you for your time, and enjoy your accounting sessions. Thank you.